Has your water softener stopped working? Has the meter stopped registering flow? Well, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix that in six easy steps right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I simplify water filtration so you can make some great decisions for your family. Pretty much most water softeners that have been installed over about the last 15 years have a meter built inside. And what that does, it register, registers how many uh, gallons of water your family is using. And then based on that usage, it knows when it's time to regenerate or clean itself. So if your water softener has, um, doesn't know how many gallons of water you've used, it doesn't know when to clean itself, and that's when the water softener stops working. So the first thing you have to determine is, is your water softener a metered water softener or not? So for the clack water softeners, for example, the metered ones have five buttons across. If yours has three buttons across like this one over here, that means it's a time clock water softener. And, uh, and that one won't uh, register flow. It has no meter built in. It has to be set for every three or five days regeneration based on your hardness, your water usage, etc. Okay, so if you have a uh, five button water softener, then the meter on the clack ones is at the side. So you can see a cable going back here. Now if you have a different brand of water softener, just look for the cable. Often it's stuck in the back here, like it is on a Water Boss or Aquamaster uh, water softener. And a lot of other brands, Fleck water softeners, etc., have the cable stuck in back there. And uh, I have a great video that shows you how to, how to check and uh, check that, um, that flow meter um, with a magnet. And uh, so I'll put a link to that in the description down below and the cards up above. All right, so the first thing you need to know is to test it to see if it actually is the meter that's causing the problem. So go into the house somewhere, uh, usually a bathtub is great or a laundry sink or something like that, and run the water at full blast. And uh, what you should see, uh, if it's a clack water softener, you should see the word softening flashing on the screen. If it's a Fleck or some of the other brands, you might see a raindrop that keeps flashing as the water's flowing. Then turn the water off and see if it's still flashing or not. If it is, that's your flow meter working and all is good, you gotta look at troubleshooting somewhere else. If it's not working, that means there's a problem with the metering. So what you need to do is get to the meter. So um, now I should mention before you go on any further, you need to check and see that there's not a three-way bypass built around the water softener that's causing this problem. And I see this problem more often than anything, uh, anything else. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got a video in the description down below, a link to it, and in the cards up above, that'll show you. But basically, uh, many years ago, older water softeners didn't have a bypass built into them. So, what you, so when they ins the plumbers installed them, they built a three-way plumbing bypass around them. And the problem is, if that bypass gets left open, the water, instead of going through the water softener, is going to bypass the water softener, and you won't have soft water no matter what the water softener is doing. So definitely check that next, because that's, uh, <laughs> that happens way too often. Okay, so assuming that you've got a clack type water softener like this one, what you need to do is you need to actually remove the meter to test it. So the first step is to bypass. So when the clack is easy to bypass, whoops, let me just move this guy out of the way here. All right, so the clack is easy to bypass with these valves. If it's in service, it's this way. If it's uh, bypassed, it's this way. So the next thing you need to do is start a regeneration cycle. So just hold down the regen button, hold it down for five seconds or so. You'll hear the motor start up and then it'll start counting down. So what that does, it releases the pressure that's inside the valve so you can open it up to get to that meter. So um, with a clack, and again, that applies to no matter what brand of uh, water softener it is, if it's a fleck, et cetera, if you want to get into where the meter is. Okay, so, so this cable is here, so the meter's actually inside here. So often this is loose enough that you can actually undo it by hand like I just did now. If not, you might need a, a set of channel locks to get at it. So inside here is where the meter is, so you can carefully pry that out. You can either use a, a screwdriver or you can use um, even a coin or something like that will work. And then I'll just turn it this way a little bit. So now here's the, the impeller uh, for the meter. So as, as the water flows through here, it turns this impeller and it spins. Whoop, I have to get back to the home position. So on a clock uh, water softener, or actually any water softener, uh, when they starts counting down its cycle, then you could advance it to the next cycle using the regen button, which is what I'm doing right now. And I gotta get it back to its home position because the meter won't show that it's registering water unless it's in service, not what, what, during a regeneration. You notice that it's back in its home position or service position when it starts displaying the current time. All right, should be just about there now. All right, so you can see that's showing the time and nothing's being displayed over here. So if I blow on this, 
You can see the word softening flashing up here. So that tells you that the meter is working. And uh, so if you're troubleshooting this, you need to look somewhere else. If you blow on it and the word softening doesn't show up flashing, that tells you that there is a problem with the metering system. It's either the meter itself or it's the circuit board inside here. So the, the, to replace the meter is a much lower cost than it is the circuit board and much more likely that that's actually where the problem is. So definitely go ahead and replace the, um, the meter and uh, it's pretty simple to do. Like I say, you're three quarters of the way here. This is the cable up here. So you, you just undo this part, unplug the cable, remove it, and then put it. All right. And, uh, and then to put the meter back in, you just thread it back in there. So line it up, put the cap back on. Tighten that up. And that can be hand tight or just a little bit more if you have some channel locks. You don't have to reef it on there and uh, put it back together. To check out more of my water softener troubleshooting videos, click the link up here. It'll take you right to my playlist. Lots of great information there and I'll see you over there. And by the way, the question of the day is, what troubleshooting concerns do you have with your water softener? What symptoms is it displaying? Well, well go to the comment section down below. Leave me a comment. I'd love to see it and I'll definitely try to help you out.